Okay, so now I'm going to just give overview on the length for the sympathetic and parasympathetic. Okay, for sympathetic, so I'll go first for sympathetic. Normally, the length of the preganglionic neuron is shorter when you compare with the postganglionic neuron. That is for sympathetic. So um, the postganglionic neuron is longer when you compare with the preganglionic. And there are two synapses. The first synapse for sympathetic, uh, the first synapse neurotransmitters that, that is released is acetylcholine. And the second synapse, the neurotransmitter that is released is no epinephrine or NE. So you know, eh, for sympathetic, first synapse, ACH, second synapse, NE or no epinephrine. That is for sympathetic. Okay. Now I'm going to go through the parasympathetic. For parasympathetic, parasympathetic, the preganglionic neuron is longer when you compare with the postganglionic neuron. Okay. Preganglionic longer, postganglionic neuron is shorter. So in terms of the neurotransmitter, the first synapse, okay, the first synapse is similar, is ACH ataupun acetylcholine. But the second synapse, the neurotransmitter release is acetylcholine as well. So in short, for parasympathetic, the first and second neurotransmitters that are released are acetylcholine. And then take note on the length of the preganglionic neuron, which is longer compared to the postganglionic neuron, which is shorter for the parasympathetic. Okay, take note parasympathetic, more towards calming condition, rest, 